On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Epstein. I'm a board-certified facial plastic surgeon who specializes in surgical hair restoration. Let's talk a little bit about women who lose hair as a result of plastic surgery. This is a very common problem. Uh, I typically see three or four patients every week, female patients primarily, and that's what we're going to talk about. Although I do happen to be doing today a gentleman who lost his sideburns and has some scarring as a result of a prior facelift. But most commonly this is a problem with women uh, due to the greater number of women that do undergo facelift procedures. The things we see um, after uh, brow lifts and facelifts are a variety of things, but they include scarring from a brow lift, elevated hairlines from brow lifts, um, loss of sideburns most commonly with scarring, scarring behind the ears. Now, most of these a type of hair, hairline abnormalities or, or hairline distortions as well as scarring are prevent, preventable but not all of them are especially on patients that have already had a prior facelift surgery. When women present with these kind of problems I discuss with them uh, their concerns, what their goals are. For many women it's just being able to simply um, wear their hair pulled back so that um, they don't have to feel uncomfortable or self-conscious about any scars showing. For those women, the most common thing is to go ahead and restore sideburn. And the way you restore sideburn is you look at the natural direction of growth, which is usually not straight down, but actually goes backwards a little bit. And we're able to fill in and implant hairs between whatever ex uh, remaining existing hairs there are. In addition, we're able to fill in areas of scarring. Similarly, scarring can be filled in behind the ear as well as in a brow lift scar. And the result is that hair will then grow naturally as it did before. On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Epstein. Thanks for watching.